There is a new push now to arm troops at military recruiting centers in the wake of the deadly attack in Chattanooga. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill introducing a bill called the Semper Fi bill. It would allow service members at those facilities to be armed, which is currently illegal under federal law. And it is a move the president's nominee for the Army Chief of Staff supported yesterday. Here's General Milley. As far as arming recruiters go, uh, I think that's uh, complicated uh, legally. Uh, and as issues involved uh, throughout um, the country, but we'll have to come to grips with that, and it certainly uh, should be something The legal to part of it can be resolved. Do you think that they should, under certain conditions, be, be armed? I think under certain conditions, uh, both on military bases uh, and in outstations, recruiting stations, reserve centers, uh, that we should seriously consider it. In some cases, I think it's appropriate. Mm. Very interesting testimony from him yesterday on a number of fronts. He's going to be one to watch. So governors in 11 states have already stepped in, and they have ordered the arming of personnel at local recruiting centers. Florida went one step further. Recruiters have been taken off the streets and told to work out of armories. Joined now by Montana Senator Steve Daines. He's co-sponsor of the Semper Fi bill. Senator, welcome. It's good to have you with us today. Thanks, Martha. Why is it so difficult? What are the technicalities? Why aren't these people armed in the first place in these facilities? Well, it's a question many of us are asking here in Washington. Those five service members that lost their lives last week in that tragedy in Chattanooga, they were not a result of a random act of violence. They were targeted by a jihadist. Some of those members had served in Iraq and Afghanistan, where on foreign soil, they're given a firearm to defend themselves. And yet when they return to U.S. soil, being at a recruiting station, they are not allowed by law have a firearm. Americans are scratching their heads. So you mean to say a Marine, an Army, a soldier, an Air Force member cannot have a firearm at a recruiting station there to protect themselves is frankly ridiculous. And we must do all that we can to protect those who are protecting our nation, to defend those who are defending our yeah. nation. Uh, one of those who was scratching his head and did something about it was on last night with Megyn Kelly. Here's that. Many times people walked up to me and said, do you have a permit for that? And I told them, no, this is 100% legal. I'm open carrying these weapons. However, the men and women who are trained, disciplined, and prepared to use these weapons to defend themselves and others are not allowed to have weapons. So that young man and others have taken it upon themselves to protect people. And as we said, 11 states have started that kind of protection facility. So what would your bill do and what needs to be done in order to open the way for perhaps one individual at these centers to always have a, a to be armed for protection? Well, uh, we know that the jihadists have painted a target on any man or woman who wears the uniform of the United States military. And so this just allows the option the option for these members of the military to carry a sidearm, to have a firearm, to defend themselves. I, I think we're also scratching our heads around these gun-free zones, like this recruiting center. Mm -hmm. That just invites a terrorist who knows that the yeah. law-abiding citizens won't be carrying a gun. And again, it goes back to that fundamental truth, the fastest way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with yeah. a gun. Let's get the good guys firearms to you know, defend themselves. Senator, you know, whenever we get into these debates, somebody always says, well, it's in a strip mall. This is a, an open public place. What are you going to do, arm everyone at the strip mall? What do you say to that argument? Well, no, that's not what we're trying to do here. What we're doing is we're saying that, uh, that a U.S. Marine at a recruiting station should be allowed to carry a sidearm. Yeah. We see police officers walking our streets. They're carrying sidearms. They're trained. And this is a way to be a deterrent to prevent these kind of tragedies from happening when a jihadist knows that they want to mess around with the U.S. Marines Recruiting Center, they're going to expect to be fired back There's on. There's no way that that would not be a deterrent. Put up the picture of Private William Long because this is not a new problem. Uh, one of the first terror attacks in this country after September 11th was in Arkansas in Little Rock at a recruiting center when this young man lost his life in a drive-by shooting by a jihadist. So this problem has been with us since then. Um, thank you very much, Senator, for being with us. Keep us posted on how your, uh, how your legislation goes. Thanks for having me. All right. Thank you.